shit, I just had a camera perfectly lined up and my foot just bumped it. Okay, so I'm going to work on the painting, the Sun Gleams painting, which is this one. And now I have, I figured out something, which is I can show my full desktop without zooming in. And I've added a picture in picture just to, I don't, I don't know why, I just have it there. So the other day, someone, uh, someone sent me a text saying they found the Sun Gleams picture, the full size one, because the other one I had before was cut off. So I got this this copy, this uh, full size one, which is great. I noticed the aspect ratio, it's a little bit uh, distorted. So if you look here, it's this side here is smaller than this side here. So I thought I'd just show you what I do in Photoshop um, to edit um, images to the goal is to make them as close to reality as possible. Um, this is like when I when I shoot my pictures, uh, like if I want to have a, an actual copy. So I'm going to go into Photoshop. Um, I already, oh, this is the file. This is the Photoshop right here. What I'll do is I'll expand it so that you'll see that I'm in Photoshop. Okay, so it's covering up everything else. Um, okay, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to select everything. I use hotkeys, so I'm just using, I don't even know what they are anymore. Uh, as far as uh, I've used Photoshop since <laughs> early 90s, since it first came out. So everything is, is hotkey. So I'm going to select everything. Then I'm going to use the transform tool. I'm going to hold down, a, uh, I guess this is on the Apple, it's a command key. It turns in this little thing. And I'm hold shift button so it brings it down. So what I'm doing is I'm eyeballing to make this corner, the distance from here to here, be the same as this is here and here. So that's the first thing, that's the first transform I've done. Now this one, I've got to bring this corner up. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna select it and I'm gonna move it up, up, up. Okay, then over here, this is two, this is shorter distance than down here. So I'm gonna select this corner and I'm gonna move it holding the, the shift button. I'm holding the right, the shift conforms it to move only in one axis. Okay, that's about right. And over here, I gotta do the same thing. I'm gonna select this, shift, hold it, and then just move it until it feels about right. Okay, and then what I do is then I hit uh, enter and it it, it um, basically uh, locks in that selection. Now I'm gonna use the crop tool and I'm just gonna crop out, very roughly, I'm just gonna crop out, let's say the inside image, because we don't care about the frame. So I'm just gonna go like that, hit enter, it crops that out. And what I can do is how I can, I, now I'm, I've done this for years and years, so I'm really good at but eyeballing stuff. Um, you can see how close my adjustment was. It's almost perfect. So what what I would do when I do my photographs is I would go in here and I would go pretty close like this. And then what I could do is I could zoom in and see how many pixels I have to cut out. Okay. So, but for this painting, I don't, I, I'm not showing this to anybody else. This is just for my own reference. So I'm just going to do a rough cut, right? I mean, if you want, I could I could really go in and make it perfect. But um, so so look, let's see here. If I zoom, 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 zoom here, you can see I'm about one, two, three, four, five, six pixels from the bottom here, and go to the right hand side. I'm actually about two pixels. So my my um, adjustment was slightly it's slightly larger here than is here. And I would actually do this. I would care about those pixels if I was to do if this was a um, like a photograph I took time of one of my pieces and I had to prepare it for print, it'd be super high resolution. So those five pixels would be like 200 and these two pixels would be like 50 and I'd literally go in and do it so it was perfect. So I'd go to my transform tool, I would zoom in here and then I would go to that little tiny corner and I would move it up a few pixels, but I'm not gonna do that. Okay, so now, now when I look at it, it looks like the uh, the color saturation is pretty crap. It also looks like there's a shadow on right here. This whole area it looks like the light. Whoever took the photograph, you could this. I feel up here looks like shininess, and it looks like this isn't a shadow. So I could do some stuff. Like for example, what I'll do is I'll, I'll make another layer over here. So I have another layer, and let's I'll select. This is rudimentary. I'll select that that half. Okay. Normally I wouldn't do this rough. Um, maybe what I'll do is I'll select and I'll feather it, which ba ba makes my selection less perfect. So um, let's say a selection of, let's say, let's say, uh, I don't know. I don't even know what resolution is. So I'll do 30. And if I was to do a transparent layer and just fill it in, 
we can probably see uh, what color. Let me. Uh, I gotta switch. Color. Let me. Let me pick a color. Hold on, just to show you what feathering is gonna do. Boop boop boop. Okay, so we're going to um, select modify feather. I'm not sure if I did the feather ready. Yeah, I'm gonna go and I'm gonna fill it in, and we'll see what the selection looks like with the foreground color. Boop. Okay, yeah. So see, see. All I'm doing is I'm just want to show you that how I'm selecting this is not a perfect line. There's a bit of a gradation. See that? Okay. So I'm going to ignore that layer. I'll just throw that out. I'm going to go to the layer I'm working on, and it looks like right about here is when where that weird dark shadow is. So I'm going to go and select Modify Feather, and I'll keep that 30 to 30. So even though you, it looks like a straight edge of pixels, you can't. There's actually a feathering going on there. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to affect this layer by brightening up the right hand side. So there's a bunch of ways I can do this. I could I could use uh, I like to use levels. Levels is a great way, is a good tool. So I can adjust the sort of the mid tones. And that's probably the right thing to do. So it looks like if I bring up the I can adjust this. Um, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to hide this this little line so actually it's still there boop wait cancel command h now i want you to do it would you like to use oh it's asking me how do i want to use a hockey i want it to hide traditional hide. oh hide actors okay so right now that's still there i'm toggling it on and off i just want it hidden so i can see my effect better Image adjustments now. I'm not doing a Photoshop tutorial. I'm moving way too fast. I get it. I'm I'm just sort of walking through my mind as I'm thinking. So now you can see. Look at this. You can see the I can affect this whole area, and I'm trying to make it so that it's a bit more like this side. So it's a real crapshoot to try to fix this. Uh, okay. Feels like uh, I might have, yeah. I can see some of my highlights are even brighter right here. Um, maybe about there. That feels about right. Okay, I'm gonna hit, hit okay. Now this layer has the new stuff, and here's the old one, and here's the new one. Isn't that cool? So I've basically, I believe that I've never seen this photograph, but it really looks like there's a, a it's just shitty lighting. This whole right, the light source is on the right, and the shadow on the left. So I've now adjusted. For what I think is a more flat, consistent lighting. Now, overall, the color sucks because this is a shitty photograph. So I'm going to go back to I've, I've created a third layer. I like to create layers as I work. So this one, I'm going to go to um, I'm going to go to level levels again, and I'm going to do this little quick cheat. Wait, what should I do? Yeah, no, for, no I'm going to do it the the a little bit more skilled. I'm going to bring up the darkness. I got to oh shit. My selection is still there. So look, see, it's still there. So now I'm going to drop that selection. So now there's no more selection. I'm going to affect the whole image. So now image adjustments. Let's go to levels again. And I think the darker, the darkness needs to be more dark. So I'm going to bring, bring this up a bit. Oh, now it's looking like an AY Jackson, isn't it? I'll just show you the little change I did. So that was like, it, it looked too faded away. This is a bit more, uh, the darkers are darker. That's essentially what I've done is a lower range is brought in. Okay. I've got a feeling the real painting is more like this. I'm going to do one more change, which it looks slightly desaturated, uh, slightly. So I'm going to go to image adjustments, hue saturation. And over here in the middle one says saturation. So I could jack it up. So it's insane, but I'm going to bring it up about a point about five. So let's just take a look. This is uh, toggling between the other one and this one. So actually, let me zoom in a bit. Oops. Uh, zoom, whoa, zoom. Why would it only give me two? That's stupid. Um, I, don't, I, don't, I don't work on this computer a lot. Uh, so let me go to, uh, where's zoom? There's a zoom tool. I don't know why it's giving me this huge jump in, in zoom. Um, yeah, it's okay, it's weird. That is really strange. I'm gonna just type in the number. Ah, fuck off. I'm gonna type. Can I just type in here in 100%? And do something like, let's do 150. Okay, that's good. Let's go one, 175. 
175. Normally I can do it like a tweak zoom. I can zoom in slowly. Um, all right. So that is more saturation, and that's desaturation. Now I can I can totally tell the difference. Saturated, unsaturated, saturated. So let's look like let's look at the original. Boom, and then mine. I've got a feeling that I I don't need the saturation. I'm gonna well. It brings in a little bit more. Yeah, I'm okay. All right, so that's gonna be my final one. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna save this as a, a JPEG, and I'm gonna call this uh, Sun Gleams AY Fixed. Okay, and I'm gonna save it. And JPEG, let's, let's go to full JPEG, it doesn't even matter, okay. All right, so now I'm gonna, I don't need this anymore. I'm just gonna throw this out. Goodbye. And when I go to um, my, here's the one I just did. And then here's the one, here's the source material. So hopefully you can see this. So you can see the one, here's the original photograph I worked on, I mean I used. And then over here is my, fixed version so in a few minutes i i corrected the aspect ratio see how it's kind of like goofy over here it's shorter than it is along on this side i fixed the dark shadow that was appearing on the right hand side i what else did i do I, yeah i just the darkness i felt the dark the the darkness weren't dark enough so i darkened the darks beep, beep, the dark layer of the spectrum and then i brought up the saturation which means the intensity the vibrancy of the color okay so i and normally i would like i would have done this before i even started painting yeah this would already have been ready if i was to you like just just i would have so i just thought i'd just show you some you know you guys what i would do normally okay so now i have my painting and i i kind of just discovered a trick uh last time i was working on this painting i discovered a trick as a way to cheat if okay how about this way let's say you're just starting off painting and you need to know your proportions and stuff you could make a grid on your painting and then have a photograph that you're using and create a grid and you're basically copying squares at a time. A lot of people do this and I can honestly say I think I learned how to do it years and years and years and years ago. Like I think I, in fact, the drawing I did was the one where I had a million dots in it and I think that was part of learning perspective or something, but I literally have never used that for any of my art ever. And I purposely stayed away from it because I always felt it was cheating a bit. So I just recently discovered a way to super cheat on a computer. You can super cheat. And what I mean by cheating is you're relying on technology and, and some tricks to get accuracy as opposed to sort of, let's just say, using your hand and eye coordination to figure it out, right? To me, that's kind of cheating. I don't, so this is definitely a, a cheat painting, just to be clear. Burp, burp, burp. I'm not creating an original thing. I'm actually copying this A.Y. Jackson. So here's my newly discovered trick. And I would say maybe if you're like new in painting, this could be something you could do. So you gotta have an overhead camera pointing down. It's gotta be flat. Now, perfectly flat would be this, but it's distorted because I, I actually have a piece of duct tape under there, which tilts the canvas towards me so I can see it better, prevents gleam, light from the screen gleaming down. So I've adjusted my camera angle, so this is sort of flat, okay? I've got a top-down view, so what I'm going to attempt to do is match them up. So the first thing I'm going to do is zoom out a bit, because this is about the size, and I'm going to go to here. Then I'm going to move this thing, and I'm going to try to match them up. So I'm going to switch. Oops, I got to bring this thing down. I've got to switch between the top view. Okay, where do I look? Oh, I kind of need. Damn it. Okay, I need. I should have. I need more. Oh no, I don't can do. It. Sorry, forgive me for a second. How do I move up? Problem is, my what I'm looking at is this tiny little space here. So I kind of, I might have. Uh, 
need more practice with this cheating technique. Maybe, okay, here I go. Here's better. Okay, so I have to look over here. This is, how, this is my cheat zone over here. I click here. I click here. Clearly, this needs to be bigger. So I'm going to zoom out a bit. What I'll try to do is match up the, just the top edge. Uh, looks like this needs to be higher. That needs to be lower. Boop, 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 boop. And it needs to be, this thing needs to be wider. Now it could be the aspect ratio of my paintings are different, yeah. So the other thing to consider is that my painting, because it's at an angle, it's a bit narrower than the original painting, which is taller. This may not make sense to anybody. But it makes a hell of a lot of sense to me, and yeah. Okay, so I gotta I gotta narrow my Facebook, make it, move, and I'm gonna move. I gotta move this guy over a bit too. Okay. Boop, boop, boop. So definitely gonna move this. And unfortunately, my cheat screen is going to get smaller. Oh no. Okay, so I can't use the edge. I'm going to, I'm going to, let's use this, this rock shape as the center point. So this has got to come down and to the right. Okay, that's, that's probably, that's probably good enough. You really want to cheat, you'd spend more time trying to match them up. Okay. So here we go. When I click between them, what I'm doing is I'm, I'm looking for the shapes to see if, if they match the location. Uh, oops, you don't like that. All right. So there you go. There's Josh's fantastic cheat mode. If you really need to. Or if you're just starting, here's a technological way where you can use your own, oops, use your uh, computer and camera to help guide you. I'm not sure how much how much I'll use this because I don't, I don't really need, like all, all I wanted was this to see how far off my, my composition was from his. Um, yeah, it was just kind of neat to try to do this. Okay, so I'm just going to click back and forth a couple times and just so I can see, actually, it's not bad. There's some weird stuff. Like, for example, when I look at, oops, not that, when I look right here, this curve, you can see my cursor, the curve is different. So here's the curve here, but mine is off. Okay, so... The only way I can do this is I kind of have to go like that. All right, so here's my palette. I'm on coffee number four, which is good. Obviously, if you guys are talking right now, I can't tell because right now my, unless I can move it out of here, does this help? That no, doesn't, doesn't really help me, does it? Which is better. I'll put it up here. So I probably won't be able to see your chats. Oh, there's one person. That's Cheryl said, hi, Josh. Hi, Cheryl. Okay. Oh, you son of a gun. Okay. Oh, yeah. I have to do it here because I have to click on this thing. All right. Click, 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 click. Oh, yeah. I can see where I screwed up a bunch of stuff. For example, here, there's this weird shaped rock. It's kind of nice now that I can see what was missing from the other photograph I could. See, that's a weird shape. It looks like a little surfboard or something. And then mine, it's down, it's, mine is down too low. So that's something I could fix. Let's try that. Let's get a bit of a dark brown. Let's get a bit of dark brown. And what I'm looking at is this shape here. So it'd be better if I could make this thing big. Can I make this thing bigger? Yeah. Let's see if I can bring it right across. Okay, I met some crazy trippy shit happening. So what I'm looking at is this shape here. If I click on this, boom, I can see it's low. So theoretically, I 
Oh, I noticed. In mine, I made. The, I didn't know what was down here, so it's actually more like this. Wait. Oh. Ah. Oh. So the question is, how much do we care how close it is, how accurate it is? Do we care? Like, what, what, what people? What should I be doing here, even? Hmm. All right, maybe just a couple more of these stupid clicks to see where things are off. Oh, I know what I want to do. I want to get the position of the uh, the trees better. Okay, so what I'm going to do, because I really pooched exactly where the trees are in my previous one. Oh, I can't even see how far off. Okay, so let's do this. I'm looking... Here's what I'm doing. I'm looking at this tree where it intersects with this line. Okay, so this tree, what I'm trying to find is this point right there. And it should be right about here. Boop. Nope, even, oh yeah, wait a second. No, actually it's not. This tree, I'm looking for this point here. Oh, God damn it. Uh, actually, my, my arm was more accurate. It's right about here. Well, my original, huh, my original was better. Okay, so let's look at the painting now. So I got a painting kind of, it comes down about here. Oh, no, I'm way off. You know what? This is kind of tedious. This is stupid. This is really stupid. What am I doing? like the other one was like here yeah it like comes over here it's like this happens there this is not this is not fun this is not painting this is definitely not art man don't do this this is wrong you should go to jail if you do this Look how fucking dumb this is. God, why would you even bother doing this? This is what someone who lacks talent does. Oh, you know, I'm just thinking, like, maybe I should try doing forgeries. Actually, I just use technology for forgeries. I would definitely not start this way. I would start, yeah, it's, look how off, look, it's totally off. Oh, it's so off. Ah. ah, screw this. This is stupid. Do 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 Wasting my time doing this stupid. Da, 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 da. I kind of do get obsessed with some things. Like I kind of like once I started, I, I want to see it through to its completion. Is it here? Would this thing be here? Oh yeah, <laughs> I had my had my cheap ass glasses. Oh, that's maybe too. That's too hard. It's better if I just squint. This is up here. Let's see where this line is. I don't think I'm going to do this ever again. This is just not fun. This is just, this is like what I would 
advocate against doing. <laughs> well, okay. I think, uh, I think that's enough of this bullshit. It's like just exhausting me doing this. Click, click. It's like, wait. Wait. There, and then if that's mine, and I go here. Wait, it's like, you know what better technique is to overlap them? That's basically just tracing. You're just literally at that point be tracing them so there's like one tree here that's actually kind of whitish sort of curves like this right <laughs> and the other one kind of does something like whatever like that yeah, it's totally, totally different. All right. Okay, you know what I'm going to do? Screw this. I'm not doing this anymore. <clears throat> it's just too, it's too tedious. Like, who does this? Okay. All right. So it says here, let me go back to it. It says here, what is under the, wait, what is under the painting? Let me just, I can't read it yet. Cheryl, hold on. What is it the painting? Looks like a reflection of a sunset on the water. I don't know. Are you talking about this thing down here? This this thing down here is my uh, video capturing software. If you're talking about this, yeah, that's my video capturing software. So what I what I I mean, it's used for for choosing the different cameras. To, oh, Wesley, one of painter colleagues at my college said that some find it useful to paint renditions of others' works, but he also shot my enthusiasm down towards paint wanting to try it. Paul Cumes really got into it for a while when he was younger, but eventually stopped. So I don't, I don't know who Paul Cumes is. I'll have to um, Google him in a minute. Oops, one of my painter colleagues. Cool. Yeah, Wesley, I don't know who paint, Paul Cumes is. I'll have to check him out um yeah so I just I just can't do it I still have my reference up here okay so what I can say so far about my experience of doing this because I really try to avoid using uh, references too much um, for sure I've used them and I think for my bigger paintings I'm gonna use them I need to use them more I need photographs because I just can't envision the, the composition and the light perfectly you know what I'm saying like if you look at me right now, I could come up with a figure from my mind, but I'm not gonna. Oh, look at that! Is that paint in my face? I probably I get painted on myself all the time. Like for example, the uh, the light on the cup. Like I know there's rim lighting. I know there's counterbalance of light coming up, and I I could fake it, but sometimes you just need to see something. Okay. All right. Um, I'm just stalling for a second because I'm just trying to gather my thoughts. Uh, top. There we go. Okay. What should I do? I actually don't feel inspired at all. I feel very kind of like forced now to do this. And I guess the only thing that, you know, I'm benefiting from this from right now is I'm learning a bit more about AY Jackson stuff because you really gotta you really gotta look at their things carefully. So here I can zoom I can zoom in to some degree. Like I can like I was just zooming in on this photograph here, but it's just if you look at it's crap quality. It's all becoming pixelated. So what I am getting is a sense of like his little brush strokes. So if you look, oh wrong. I'm not getting using a this is, must be preview. I think if I click one of these buttons, oh, I can't do it. I can't. I can't move this thing. 
and I can't move it. Okay, shit. There used to be like a little hand tool. Anyway, if you look over here, you might be able to zoom in a bit. You see these little tiny, tiny brush strokes. So I can, I get a sense of what he's doing. There's nice little tiny finesses coming along here. Okay, that's enough stalling. Let's look into. That is what it was all made me feel. It's so, inf but so informative. Okay, so this whole painting is is. Let's take it as a learning lesson of of A. Y. Jackson. <sighs> Top A. Y. Jackson. I don't want to be here. I don't want to do this. But I feel obligated to continue. So what I'm gonna do is just fucking do it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna complain a lot. This green is not the green that he uses. Okay, so we're gonna, okay, so from here on in, we're gonna assume that the perspective is goofy. This is not, I, I'm now moving past trying to like, copy it okay I'm gonna start doing my own shit in here like this green I just slapped on here I was meant intending to do on, on this sort of like leaf shape thing that, that that's coming off here but it's nowhere it's not in his in his thing I kind of fucked that up today. I wonder what kind of trees those are Oh yeah, so this is really different. I kind of screwed that up. It actually should, should be about here. Let me get that darker green. That was kind of a nicer green. I'm just gonna do whatever hell I want. Screw you. I'm doing whatever I want. That's the best part of the painting. Is you can just do whatever the hell you want. Everything. Definitely feel like I'm losing my eyesight here a bit. <laughs> it's like. All right, so we're going to start doing some, that is not even the right color, or even close to the right color, but, ooh, look at that ugly green. Let's put this, let's put this little green down here. Why not that? Do you go to art school, Wesley? Where'd you go to uh, college? Definitely are. What color is this? Nope. You're a chemist. That's cool. I was going to go in a neuro. Oh, well, I'm a chemist. <coughs> I went to art school for one year and it was a freaking joke. I did learn about. Uh, I definitely learned about printmaking. I had really no interest in printmaking, like zero. But once I started doing it, it was kind of fun. And uh, I learned about some metal work. That was cool. It got, it got to go into a forge. And I poured a bronze statue, which was incredibly ugly, of just some dude's head that I made up from scratch. That was a part of the problem, is I was so confident and arrogant. I just started sculpting. Like, it was a, it, was it a, the lost wax process? I'm pretty sure you had a clump of wax that you and then you put the wax in some kind of mold then you melted the wax out oh that's right because you had to have a spike you had a spike that you put in so that would be where the wax would, when you did the inverted when you melted the wax and the mold was left there was a uh a tube where the max wax could melt out and then we had the this was the best part you had like a, uh, a, a welder shield on and you're in the forge and they had like this thing of um the fuck was it what kind of metal was it <laughs> it probably was lead 
some kind of metal that was molten and then you tipped it into your mold and it was all bright red it was so fucking cool and so it would fill up then you'd wait till it hardened and what you're left with was your final shape that matched what your wax sculpt was with this metal spike which you had to saw off and then polish off it's kind of cool i i don't think i've taken a, a photograph of it from my website but uh it's it's somewhere lying around and I also did, um, actually I did two sculptures, two. One was of my buddy Dan. Dan was hilarious. And he had almost yellow eyes. It was the coolest thing. He had, I would just go, dude, your eyes are fucking yellow. He goes, I know. <laughs> he had one of the most unusual color eyes I've ever seen in my life. And that was part of the reason why I did a sculpture of him. And then I painted his eyes yellow and then i my whole my whole sculpture was so crap i ended up just dripping wax over the whole thing so i've got this big bust of my old friend's head somewhere in some basement somewhere okay iron three degrees get the hell out of here one of n2 masters of iowa state university western carolina florida years ago once i got my tenure track at college teaching i finally could afford to begin letting my art music brain to rage <laughs> i'm a fairly scripted weirdo that's crazy man that's a lot of degrees. Yeah, I started out, I, I, I was considering being a doctor. My whole family is doctors, right? Well, dad's a doctor, brother's a doctor, mom was a nurse. Both my sisters have their master's in education. They work in the field of health for a while. And then I thought I was going to be, I like one of the kids, so I was, and I, I love neurophysiology. I love learning about the brain and psychology. So I thought, hey, I'm going to be, a brain surgeon for kids for a couple reasons one it'd be highly specialized so i'm going to be set for life for cash two well that in not this order i was going to work with kids because i love helping kids if that was something i could like do in a health field i would definitely work with kids and i love the brain and i also thought you know because i was good with my hands i think i thought i'd be a pretty good surgeon and um i, th I felt the brain was so fascinating and also too i was thinking about like like lifestyle in that uh i wouldn't be one of those people who are let's say dentists or surgeons who work like crazy all the time and they, all they do is they amass wealth just to have a fucking nice boat and shit i would just work like half the time and then do art the other half the time just make enough just to get by and you know of course if their emergencies get called in i just couldn't do a nine to five job i couldn't do it so it was after i graduated i, I you know I, the art side of me went out and uh yeah i was just getting a taste of neurophysiology like at a, for an undergrad like it's only until the fourth year where you actually learn, start learning something like I, I didn't learn shit until i was in my fourth year of university it was the courses were just finally really cool but that was that okay so hmm, i remember doing the wax thing too but it was long ago and don't know when the memory is from oh. yep that's the life live today yay. so that's cool um i've been teaching part-time for over a decade now a postgraduate program in video game production and i have zero job security because they give it a contract semester to semester so for 10 or 12 years i've been doing this one or two courses I can't imagine what it would be like to have tenure. That would be so amazing. Because this is a, I've always been an entrepreneur. Like I've always done my own thing. I've always taken the risk. I started a few companies. I've ran studios and have zero job security. Like I knew that from the beginning that that's, that was just me. I had to, I had to be a, I had to do it my way kind of thing. And now at my age, almost 50, it's like I'm, I'm kind of starting this. In a way, I'm starting out from scratch. Even though I've been an artist my whole life, in a way, I'm starting out from scratch. Because, like, no one's ever seen the vast, vast majority of stuff I've ever done. So, as a chemist, are you doing like you you're doing like research? What does a chemist do? A chemist is gonna, you know, first thing I think of is I think of a lab. I think that, yeah, teaching, but a chemist. Of stuff you do as a chemist in the pharmacology industry maybe you're working on some 
guess even as a chemist, yeah. yeah, this looks like it's too low. What am I doing here? Oh, okay. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to make A.Y. Jax's painting bigger so I can see it. So that means I'm gonna have to cover up. Wait, how do I do it on the screen here? So if I go here, no, nope, I'm gonna have to. Okay, here's what I have to do. I just gotta do a little rearranging. I just realized. I'll show you. Okay, so what I want is I want to be able to see this painting, and I want to see this view, which is gonna show this, but without all these fucking things on it. So excuse my French. Okay, so I'm gonna move Facebook over here. I know. Yeah, no, I'll leave, I'll leave it there. Maybe I'll squish it over more, so only thing I can see. I only want to see your comments. I'll give me a break. It's cutting off your comments. Okay, so I know. I'll move this way over here so I can still read what you're saying. I'll bring this thing over here. Ah, this is what I'll do. That can go there. And I'll bring this over here, make that bigger. Okay. So I can see what you're I can see what you're saying over here. I can see that this picture, I probably, even going bigger once is not going to help me because it's not a very high resolution picture. And over here, I'm going to switch to the view from the top. So when I click this button, you're not going to see it anymore. But now in the bottom right corner, I can see my painting, like from, yeah, whatever. All right. <laughs> Finally, for okay. Oh man, my motivation for doing this is so low. I'm like, God, what am I doing? But I feel like obligated. I feel like I, you know, I can't stop now. I can't stop now, and I'm. You know, the one good thing is I do appreciate Way Jackson a bit more now. But just look at mine, and mine is just so clumsy. It's just, I mean, part of the thing is that I'm doing somebody else's thing, and it's, it's slow, everything's, it's slowing me down. It's like making me concerned that I'm not getting it like his thing. And then, yeah, this is what I need to do. I need to just to fuck it. I just need to go in and do my thing. I'm just going to just. Screw it. I'm just going to do my thing. Sorry, AY. I'm going to do my thing. Going to do my thing. I thought I could get this thing done in four painting sessions, but at the rate I'm going now, nope. 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 No siree, Bob. Oh, there's more comments down here. Oh, shit, there's more comments. Sorry. Wow. I'm a professor, but we don't have research capability funding. I did research for about six or seven years. Before as a grad student, oh like crap, six, seven years. I love teaching others the power and intrigue of the molecular world. That's cool. This is great. I'd never heard of A.Y. Jackson until now. Yeah, cool. So A.Y. Jackson was part of these uh, group of painters called the Group of Seven. They actually became larger. I think it was Group of Eight or Group of Nine or something. But there are these painters 
in so I'm from Ontario, which is a province in Canada. It's fucking the best place in the world. It's awesome. And uh, they would uh, they would go off up north, and they would paint. Actually, sorry, sorry, that's not true. They weren't all Ontario, were they? Were they? Oh my god, I'm being an idiot. They're just Canadian painters, right? Weren't they on the West Coast too? Like, uh, I know Emily Carr. I don't think was 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 not part of Group Seven, but okay. Anyhow, I gotta. I better. We better go to someone. Go to Wikipedia just to verify. I don't want to get all false information. But the bottom lines are Canadian painters who uh, just were some of the just just gorgeous paintings of of landscapes. Ava Jackson was one of them. I assume they would hang out and talk and chat and. Uh, there's a really one of the nicest art galleries I've ever been to is the McMichael Art Gallery, and it's in Ontario, and it's just it's like in this beautiful kind of forest setting. And if you ever get a chance, McMichael Art Gallery, go take a look at it. And they have lots of Group of Seven stuff there. And for me, it was it was literally there. You know, they were like the Van Goghs of Canada, but in a place that I knew because I grew up. Let's just like you know, going up north was a huge part of of uh, like my family. You know, our lives. We would always be up north. Uh, every weekend we could get away, and we would go. There was canoeing was a big part of our life too. Like, uh, it sounds kind of cliche, but it's it's it is it's real. And uh, yeah, man, just the wind, the the air, the water. Just fucking, I've been, I've, I've traveled around the world and I'm telling you, coming back home is just nothing like it. So if I was to go on a vacation, you know, one of my first places would be, would be Huntsville, Ontario, up, up around there. Still lots of places in the, in the world I'd like to travel to. Like I've never been to, I've never really been to South America. So I've been to like. I think I was in Venezuela once, but it was like at a resort. I had a girlfriend who worked at a travel agency, so she got us like really cheap tickets or flights to go down to, I want to say Venezuela. What they're known for is they had a really cool aquarium inside. Then they had like almost like you go to the top and there was like this slide that would go down and under the water of this giant aquarium where they had sharks in it. So you'd be going under this tube, fucking sharks swimming around you, and then you'd come out. And I think it, it had an Aztec theme. I don't know. This is like 1997 or so. So I don't really consider that. That wasn't really traveling. But I'm just thinking, I've been to Dominican Republic, and that wasn't traveling either. That was like at a private villa my friend rented. So I'd like to go to South America. I'd love to check out Chile. Um, only because I've met a bunch of Chileans and work with some Chileans and they were some of the most fun people I've ever met. Like they just were like, I'll tell you about my friend Gustavo, a guy I worked with and, uh, 17 years. Funny, the Chileans I know were programmers, but they were, Whatever you want, go for it. I, I can't hear what you're saying. <laughs> do whatever you need to do. Oh yeah, Gustavo. So Gustavo was funny. Um, he liked to party, and uh, so I used to drink like everybody else. I don't drink now, but when I was younger, like in my twenties and thirties or early thirties, you know, I should drink like everybody else. But I have a house party in my apartment, and Gustavo would show up with a couple of his friends. And there, more than one time, <laughs> it'd be like three in the morning, and I'd go downstairs, and Gustavo and a couple of his Chilean buddies, I swear to God, were on the couch with the guitar, singing, laughing, and crying because they were so like happy or something. They literally were crying. It was the funniest scene in the world. I'm like, guys, you're the only ones here. Like, you know, I had like 40 people crammed in my apartment and then everyone's gone home except for Gustavo and the Chileans. Oh, man. Oh, what's wrong? 
No, sorry. There's nothing out there. They, they've gone inside. That's what I'm talking about, dog. No nugget. Not yet. It's okay. It's okay. My hands are in pain. I can't help you. Gustavo. It looks like he's doing like a like a, like a little bit of. Oh come on! Darn. Oh. Nope. Sweetheart. Oh. Oh. My buddy who lives next door was telling me the other day my, my dog when I left was whining, he could hear him through the through the house. Now I know what he's talking about. He's uh, looking for some people who just were just in by. She is. I have to give her a little bit of attention. Really? So there's a quite a bit of finessing I need to do. I could spend probably quite a few hours in here trying to make it good. There's quite a lot of little stuff. Nuggets, please. Oh. You're making me feel so guilty. Okay, hold on a second. Come here. Over here. Okay, come here. Up, 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 up. Little baby. Oh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna risk screwing up my thing. Come here, come here. Up, 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 up. Hi, baby. Look how cute you are. I know you want to play, don't you? I know, I know you. Where's the ball? Where's the ball? Go get your monkey. Go get your monkey. Then bring me the ball. Where's the chew toy? Go get it. Where's your monkey? Go get your monkey. Where's your monkey? Where's your monkey, Nugget? Go get the monkey. Where's your monkey? It's right there. Go get the monkey. Monkey here. Monkey in my hand. Monkey, put the monkey in my hand. Go get the monkey. Oh, you want the big ball? Right, bring the ball here. Ball here. Ball here. Oh my God. She's just spazzing out. She doesn't know what to do. All right. Sorry, Nugget, you had your chance. We're going to get back to painting. That's my little interlude. Okay. Yeah, this is going to take me a while. It's just, I can't, I can't let it go without doing a good job. And what I consider a good job is going to be a lot more than what it is now. Like even these little things, like I'm now just gonna have to paint the negative space around the tree here and this branch, which is it's just off. Things are just off. There you go, Nugget. Eat your thing. I bought her a bought her a kind of a chew pork rind thing that she's munching on right now. I don't even know who I'm talking to. Is anybody even listening? I don't even know if anybody's here. Oh, five people are here. Oh, crap. Five people. The pressure is intense. Okay. I think this thing, there's like a weird hook. Weird hook shape. Yeah. Why would anyone want to do this? Like, why would anyone want to? Copy somebody else's stuff. It just feels like. It feels. What does this feel like? It feels like. Bad idea. <laughs> like even. Okay, let's just. Up here, he's got a little streak right here. Let me get some more of the darker blue. I'm just randomly going through areas. Kind of comes down here. He's got darker stuff there. 
J.Y. Jackson. Oh yeah, so he even, he even did something like this. He went like this. Took a little bit of highlight and added it to there. And it has a little bit of a thing like this. And it's got like the lines that go across here. All right, so it's just, it's whatever, whatever. He has what I think are purples. Oh, you can't see it. What I'm doing is over here. I have over here, I have my uh, palette thing, so I'm just just discovering little colors that I can use. Like I could have swore that's purple, but it's not. That has to be purple. But it's not purple. Are you purple? Nope. Here it looks like you might be green. Okay, so what color? I'm just going to use this color. This color is here. Yeah, it's like a bluish kind of like bluish color. So you can see I'm slowly... Nugget! Come here! What's wrong? It's okay. Don't you... What, am I not good enough? Am I not good enough? Am I not good enough? What's wrong? What's wrong? I know what you want to go I know what you want to go and play. Okay. Oh, come on. Shh, 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 shh. Please. Oh, come on. Really? <laughs> what? Just give me a minute. <laughs> oh, I can't. I can't help her. I can't. I can't ignore her. I can't ignore her. Nugget. What is it? What is it? Look at this. Oh. What is it? I'm here. I'm giving you attention. Come over here. Come here. Huh? Oh, I got some green in your hair. Damn it. That's why. Where's this green paint coming from? I got some green paint right on your head. I'm going to have to. Isn't that weird? Come here. Hop up. Hop up. Hello, baby. Hello, baby. Hello. Go get your ball. Get your ball in my hand. Where's your ball? See the green stuff I got in her hair by accident? There's no paint on me. Yeah, I have paint all over the place. Okay, these are last chance, and I'm 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 gonna go back to painting. Last chance. Come here. Come here. Up up. I'm giving you attention, and then look, look, you always wanna quickly go. What is it? Right. I know what you, I need to do. I need to take it to the park and stuff. It's freaking freezing outside. Oh, you don't need that. Jesus Christ. Okay, A.Y. Jackson, where are you? Oh, no, no, okay. you had a chance. You snooze, you lose. I just noticed your uh, your text <coughs> part, Wesley. Oh. <coughs> Never looked at any of <coughs> Sizelow's works. No, I gotta. I, that's cool. I don't know who that is. I'm gonna have to look it up. Okay, sorry guys. I'm gonna have to just take a break now. I think uh, my dog needs me. I have priorities. You know, I'm gonna come. I'm for sure. I'm gonna come back to this today. I want to put in definitely more work. It's just it's just starting to take shape. It's just like for example, all these uh, all these very dark heavy lines, they're all going to be refined and fade away. So uh, So we're not going to have these ugly black spots. It's, it's going to take some time. All right, I got to go. You can hear the dog bugging me. Um I will catch you guys later. Ciao.